Well, what you got going? Man, I'm just trying to stay busy, man. You coming to town this weekend? I'm already in town. I've been here 30 days, man. I've been 30 out, days? I've been out here 30 days. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to hit your line and pull up on you. I got my mask and everything, man. So, how you been surviving doing this quarantine? Getting rich as fuck, staying, 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 staying safe and staying dangerous and washing my nuts with, uh, well, uh, <laughs> you stupid, bro. So how the business changed for you now in the quarantine, though? You know what I'm saying? Because the shows, I know everything's changing because of quarantine and not touring. How's that affecting you? And how are you dealing with that? You know, I don't, I don't live off, I don't live off shows. I got, I got residual income. Okay. That means like, I have real estate, like other businesses on the side and shit. I don't really have to rap if I don't want to no more. I already, been, I, I told them that years ago. They ain't believe me when I've been bought the vendors and shit back in the day when I was telling them I'm already successful. I'm cool. I was telling them that then, I ain't believe me, but they understand. Yeah, because remember, we, we talked about that, because everybody used to think, I remember everybody used to think, like, you know what I'm saying, like, youngster, he ignorant, he doing all this, he doing all this, he loud. But I'm like, brother, this is this is, this is entertainment industry, and he's entertaining y'all, you know what I'm saying? This don't have to be his real, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, I uh, I built that residual income, and that shit, won't, it wasn't easy to do, but it was, it's, it kind of, it, it was easy, but it wasn't easy. It was easy because it was a no-brainer for me to do it. Like, okay, right. well, I'm going to invest my money. But um, it went easy because when you make a lot, whole lot of money in the beginning of your career, you you kind of want to keep your shit and spend it on what you want to spend it on. Right. I had niggas like got in my ear and shit telling me like, nah, bro, do this right here, do that right. There. I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't ready to do that. Yet. I want to do that next. And he like, nah, do that first, then do that next. So, so I are, are, are you thankful that you listen? Yeah, I just a big run. They got it. I ain't mad about that. So what would you tell some of the young cats about that? Because you know, so many young cats, I be trying to tell them like. A lot of these young cats that rap is affected by this COVID nineteen. They can't tour, they can't get their money in the streets, and it's like now you looking crazy because you want to buy them twenty five hundred dollars jeans. You want to buy yeah. them big ass shoes and everything like that. I never like, like I got on shoes that cost money and shit, but I got this shit on because somebody told me to go buy. Anytime I buy like nine brand shit, it be because a nigga tell me like, hey, go get the Balenci or whatever shit, Kyle, go get them because this right here is shit right now. I do that for like video or you know what I'm saying. I don't wear that shit every day, bro. I wear my shit, my own girl. And, and I got to look at you because you definitely support black businesses because you, you, you got a couple of my pieces and you rocked it for me, not even knowing, like not even calling me. Hey. And I just seen it on your Instagram, so I definitely got to salute you for always being 1,000 with support. I don't feel sorry for these pussy ass niggas, though, because they've been faking all, all this time. So I'm glad they're getting caught up in their little egg right now. <laughs> Boy, you crazy, Fuck man. Them. So look, let me ask you this. This one, two, three, man, is, is going so crazy. What's the history between you and, and, and Bags? Because y'all been, I, if I'm not mistaken, y'all was on the group before or y'all was rocking when y'all was younger. Yeah, all I, I, I know about one, two, three. Yeah, bag my bag been my brother. I, I, I bag really was. He was kind of say. I say he was kind of like my artist. I found him. I discovered him. I don't want right. brought him to God. It. I couldn't sign him. I couldn't help him at the time. So I brought him to God. It so God could help him. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, they, they've been my brother since they one mean bag. We knew each other before. I knew God. It. Like mean bag got a more closer. We had a closer relationship with each other than we ever before we even met God. It. You feel me? Mm. So like when I brought him to the team with CMG. You know, I saw them now on Big Bro, and they, and they figure they shit out or whatever. I ain't no hating that nigga. I ain't staying on my nigga business. Or, you know, I let them do their thing. I ain't give a fuck about that. I just care about you winning. So, right. bro, I did what he did. And, you know, what I believed in from the beginning, with, it, it, you know, it happened. They see what he is now, just like they see what I am. So, I got taste. And, you know, I got a little Migo right now, too. He going. But I, I, got, I, was, about I, to, I was about to say that. Tell me about this. I was about to say this. Tell me about the new member of Heavy Camp, little Migo. Man, tell me about him. Give me the rundown. Uh, he going right now. He gone. He gone. Gone. But this one, two, three. Let me put bag. Let me, let me tell you something about bag real fast. Okay. So this one, two, three. Man, bag got a little thing we do with each other. Like if I make a song hard, he feel like I just be cocky. Like I just be trying to call him. Like bro, you just trying to just trying to be cocky, bro. I hey, I call him. I said, bro, I'm finna send you one, two, three. They gonna be your biggest song. You you got. I sent to got it first. He took thirty minutes. I'm like, bro, thirty minutes too long. You gotta respond to me, big bro. Right. So I, I hear bag. I'm finna, I'm finna send you a junk. Got it bullshit. I said, I want you gone. Do this. It's going to be the biggest song on your album. I said, I don't care who you got on your album, bro. It's going to be your biggest song. He thought I was just on some jazz and shit. Mm. But look at that bitch now, though. You feel me? It's out of here. It's out of here. I told him that. I, I, told him that. I, I, be, I, be, I don't be cocky. Shout your little talking shit. I be you be cocky, bro. I know you now. You be cocky. It's a good cocky. It's a positive cocky. But, but you know what? Like, be cocky. Bag, see, Bag been making his bag out his anyway. So he got right. his song. He just, I was trying to tell him, like, bro. I don't care who you got featured on your album. I don't think you the biggest song on your album. I don't care who. I stunt that hoe. He was like, bro. Uh, he slept on this joint. He really didn't even think it was the one. Uh -huh. Ask him you talk to him. You hear me? I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to him when he got. I'm, I'm going to talk to him this weekend. Yeah, yeah, he didn't think it was the one. But that so, hoe. Well, so what he said that he hit you like, bro, I uh, appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? You was right. 
Now nah, he don't owe me no appreciation. We 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 like how me and bro work. We team work. Like I don't, I don't think I don't think people understand like that. Uh, like me and bag, we better at working with each other than we is working with anybody in the, in the world. We can right. work with billion rappers. Like when that, whenever we come together, I always bring some magical out. Like he might he he might do up. I I I mix it. You feel me? So can can we look for a, a, a duo tape, duo album with y'all coming? Nah. Uh oh, cat out the bag, baby. I got this too, so cat out the bag. So tell me about what little Migo though. We ain't, we ain't gonna talk doing? on that. Huh? What, I said, what you been doing? You been all right? Man, I've been good, man. Staying out the way, taking care of my kids, taking care of the babies. You know what I'm saying? My, my I've been out this bitch thugging. I've been thugging hard. I've been out, I ain't, I've been out even worse. I don't see <laughs> But I've but been make been sure you stay protected, bro, because this Rona is real. Yeah, this shit real. I heard it was real. My mama had this shit. For real? How she, she doing? Now, she doing well now. This is why I had got the scene for like a month. I got okay. the scene for a month. I was trying to make sure cool. I didn't want to go outside and do nothing. And right. to then I had so I said, I go back to Instagram. And that's why I wasn't posting. I was trying to make sure she cool and shit. I don't be, you know, I care about my family and shit. I love my people and shit. I don't be like Facts. You, you've always, you always yeah. told me that, man. So tell, so tell me about the little Migo. Give me the rundown of Lamigo and why you sound Lamigo. Lamigo, I Lamigo, Lamigo cocky too. He cocky as hell. Uh, Lamigo and Bag, they count like in the same like department. They two cocky motherfuckers. <laughs> Fashion, clothes run. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired. I love, I love just, you know what I'm saying? Well, Lamigo, right. I like so cause he had that cocky attitude. He reminded me of Bag when they come down to how you act, the way he move, like far as like his ways a little bit, like kind of like he got his own in his own world. Only he thing he sees what the hell he trying to do. But right. he, he, he listened though. He listened to me. So and that's that's why I work with him so well. Like even with bag, bag hard headed, but he'll listen to me though, cause he know like I know some shit. Like they know I know this shit. So right. like me, oh, he was just one of them niggas. Like I feel like he was gonna make it with or without me, cause he a hustle. That's so facts. I was had his shit together, and he you know I, I I watched him for a while. And I, I put him on my show, and he didn't know I want to sound him. I was like, shit, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know, we can make this shit work. Let's do it. And I saw that we got it. We made it work. But then you know, he a superstar though. So so look so so who else you looking at man because like you've been calling a lot of artists out like you know what I'm saying a lot of artists and definitely like you know what I'm saying no music well enough who else are you looking at, at uh, coming out of um Memphis? I, I, I to be honest with you, I'm looking at a lot of niggas right now. Mm. I think the, the next nigga I, I, I the next the next Memphis artist I sign, I want to sound like a hitter. I don't want to sign no pussy ass nigga. I don't, like I don't sign pussy niggas anyway. But I just love I want to keep putting like hitters on. I want to keep putting niggas on the niggas I want to get changed to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to go back to, I'm trying to go catch the other out of the penitentiary, then dig 10. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I ain't, I don't want to sign no pussy ass nigga. So, like, I think with me, when you, if you look in the sign with heavy count, you can be out, to, you can be a lot of, you know, we, we, we'll deal with any type of artist, no matter what you feel, you can be a, if you, if you're a geek, you're a geek. If you, if you gangster, you gangster, you not, you not. But I, but I'm, right now, I'm looking for a gangster artist. I want to, right. I want somebody gangster, somebody could, somebody could like me, somebody gonna come through and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Take that cut off the cut. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so look, yo. So so so. so hey, are you just are, are you just looking towards Memphis or are you looking outside of Memphis? Man, you can be from out of town. As long as you ain't no pussy ass nigga, you ain't right on that yard boy. Right. Yeah, I, okay. Like you don't give a fuck where you from, and like you come to any nigga, any nigga join this shit gonna get rich. So you can't be no anybody. Like we gotta right. make sure we gonna have to do the back. We gonna do the background search on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, God might not tell you you're a pussy ass nigga, but I'm gonna tell you now, nah, bro, you're a pussy. We can't sign you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so we gonna do that background search and shit and everything. But I'm looking for a gangster artist. I feel like niggas ain't putting everybody getting put on, but I ain't putting no gangster niggas on. It's like if you been into the penitentiary before, they scared to give you a chance. You murdered somebody before. Nah, you, we scared of you. Like, right. niggas be scared. You know, you know, you know these niggas that cut these them penitentiary niggas they can rap, bro. You hear me? Right. Now, dead ass. I'm gonna at the penitentiary they can rap with his head, with, be with his hand. And, I, I, I know a few of them. I was amazed. Send them my wife. Send them my yeah. wife. Looney. This boy named uh this kid named Looney. Looney so fat. Looney super Looney. hard. I'm a, yeah, his name Looney. He from two two nine. I'm gonna definitely send him your way. Um, nah, I mean, I mean, I mean, send that shit my way. I'm gonna check him out. I want somebody out the penitentiary. Fresh out cut. Gonna gonna take some down for no reason. This is what I'm looking for. I'm he got a whole lot of them, boy. So tell me about this weekend, man. You you, you gonna hit the stage? You know what I'm saying? What we can look for for this show? Huh? I said, the show you got this weekend, what can we look for for everybody that's coming? I don't even know nothing about this shit. I just know I'm doing it. I just know I got to do it. I know whatever, whatever we go on, it's going to be history. Like, you know, it's, it's a mean money bag show, so whatever we do, 
this shit always be the shit. It, I know. I don't even know what they go do. I'm right. Like, so you're. But that's go. It, it's going down to like cosmopolitan, that premier lounge. You know, so it's gonna be off the chain. This shit gonna be live, bro. This shit gonna be off the chain, bro. You know, when, when that thing, I don't know that. Now, now I know how many bro do it. We we turn up hard. You hear me? Yeah, I, I came to this, uh, I, think, I think it was this concert you popped up at. You know what I'm saying? There's a release party. Yeah, it, it, it was the last time it was in eight. Yeah, y'all was stupid. It, 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 they were my last time stupid. I did before, the, before all this shit had happened. Yep, yep, hell yeah. So look, it's good. I'm going to slide your DM, hit you, bro, so I get your new number. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to push up on you on Sunday. Check out the show. You know what I'm saying? You know, I do peep in the backside. You know what I'm saying? It's time to shine again before we have to be locked back down. Get to see my brother again. <laughs> Say no more. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Man. I appreciate you, big dog. All right, bitch, they dying. For sure. All right. You want to head and I'll turn. All right, for sure. You too. You too, bro. For sure. You know my ass up. Yeah, you tell me.